Hi there, it's Darlene Thompson. I hope you don't mind that introduction. I was just having a bit of fun there. So, I'm still talking about Axel Armani. And I'm sure everybody would love to know his first name. I mean, whose name is actually Axel Armani? Really? So, let's have a look. First of all, though... I'm following up on my previous video. Uh, the link is in the description. As well, the link to every web page I show here will be in the description. So you can check out any of this that I've got here yourself. So, you know, it's not copy and paste. It's not Photoshop. Just nothing like that. I know that Axel put down... Axel... <laughs> put down that about one of the previous reviewers of this so you know let's just make that one clear here so here is one website that Axel has not put his minions onto yet because on Trustpilot which I had my previous review I mean his minions he's put he's put all of his fake accounts on there and Anybody he could find from Pasture Challenge to say they're just wonderful. And then you'll see this huge drop from five to one. <laughs> and the, the ones are all the people that are like the honest people. The ones that have actually posted reviews there before. And the ones that are like positive people are saying, yay, 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 he's so good. Uh, this is their first time posting ever on Trusted on trust pilot so who are you gonna trust <laughs> so this one yeah trust pilot does you know they have axel hasn't found these yet so there you go on that one in the description now axel has put out several press releases you can find these all over the place if you put them out if you, you just do a search rather and you can see here, it, it, they all start the exact same way, or in the end, the same way, too. It's the exact same wording across the board. Defying a poor childhood in Morocco to become a multimillionaire entrepreneur at just 23. Yeah, and he's 24 now, actually. Happy birthday, Axel. Uh, now, if you look down the right-hand side, we've got, yeah, his, 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 the Instagram channel he shows there, but... Yeah, it goes nowhere, really. Uh, birthplace, Tangier, yes. Founder of Pasha Challenge FX, yes. I've, yes, I, I have proof of that. Location, Dubai and Toronto. Educated at the University of Ottawa. Remember that. It's important. Now, FTMO put out a general scam alert on account management and a great deal of my prior video uh, was about account management and why this is a scam but basically the take they want your money the upfront money and they have no interest in doing the actual account management you know because it's just it's it's not profitable for them so they'll take your upfront money and then they'll they will they're gone and you'll never see your money again so here is the ftmo what ftmo had to say about it about a year ago which is pretty much echoing what I, which is echoing what I said in my previous report. So, and then we go along here and it says, you know, you should read this. It is, as I say, it's in the description. <laughs> and then at the end, it's like those services, those services always follow the same scenario. In just a few days, you will see a rule violation on your account. Oh my God. Yes, that is the precise same thing that we saw from Pasture Challenge. The provider will stop communicating with you, block you on social networks, and enjoy the earned money you sent him for his scam promise. Instead of the promised profits from FTMO account, you've just blown away your own $1,000 and the scammer just did fake business. Well, if you check my other video, you'll see that the minimum amount that this guy is scamming from people is 2000 per person and it's tons of people and 2000 is the bare minimum okay per person so he's doing better than that 
So let's check out FX Scams. This is a website that um, keeps track of, well, you can really just look up anything on here, not just scams, but anybody you want, and they'll pull it all up for you. Uh, but I have looked on actual these channels sorry about that instagram i just lost the word instagram sorry about that yeah on instagram you can find this stuff i at least i did so this is right so look it down at the lower part on the left hand side the right hand side has nothing to do with him that's somebody else entirely okay so on the left hand side scammer from previous posts we'll get to that in just a sec report his instagram he also has fake Instagram followers. <laughs> Is that a surprise? Mm, not to me. Okay, here's the first one. Now on the right-hand side, ignore the left. That has nothing to do with him. A totally different person, okay? So, on the right-hand side, we have received messages from customers of Axel, a.k.a. who? Solomon Metwi. Um... I hope you all remember Salman Rushdie, okay? You all remember him. Okay, no relation. I'm not saying that. But Salman, that, it's the same first name, okay? So we were all pronouncing it wrong. It's actually pronounced Salman. I had to look this one up. So Axel's name is Salman Metwi, French last name. I have the pronunciation right, though. I checked it. <laughs> And based in Canada. Oh, my God. That turns my stomach. I'm Canadian. He's not based in Canada. Ugh. He's... He is... He's from Morocco. He came to Canada. He got our subsidized education. He did very, very well with it. Then started scamming people. And then he needed to flee to somewhere where... The tax laws were far, far better, and there are no ex extradition laws, right? So, anyways, but this is correct. Um, he has blown these challenges. He's been doing it for a long time. His name is Selman Metwi. That's how you pronounce it. I have found also through a lot of searches that this guy is really into the music biz. Hip-hop and rap is, is his liking. Um, I could show you the whole paper trail on that, but I choose not to. It's just too much. I don't want this to go on forever. So um, he's a producer for a lot of, for some of these guys. If you need those sites, you know, contact me, but, you know, or do your own research. So look on the upper left. It says Axel Armani. For music brains here. And then on the lower right, what's his real name? Solomon Metwi. Yeah. There is direct proof there from a nothing source. It's, it's, you know, a source that is completely outside of any of this conflict and such. Third party source. And there you go. Traces him right back. So who is he? Yes. You can check out his Facebook page, but he hasn't posted there for like, for like ever. I can't believe we actually have one mutual friend together. <laughs> that is just weird. The last time he posted was October 4th, 2016. And, and you'll find that he does not have a social presence anymore, except for these old ones that you can dredge up. He's disappeared from social media. <laughs> Keep that in mind. This comes up later. So, okay. Notice his pictures. And yeah, this is a stock photo you can get anywhere. If, I think if you put Skyline of Toronto on, this is probably the first one that pops up. Okay, so this means this This is no, no proof of anything. It's just kind of interesting. Because let's go to his LinkedIn page. Same photograph. But no personal picture, but that's okay. Ah, here's what we're seeing here is look at here. Where do you go to school and where do you work for? Is University of Ottawa. And I've seen this company, Ontario Green Savings, mentioned several times. But 
Let's have a looky see here. Okay. The very bottom here. Okay. He uh, got a bachelor and honors in a bachelor of commerce in marketing. Honors. Wow. Good job, Axel. I'm sorry. Selman. Solomon. Solomon. Yes. <laughs> He's good. And in his previous press release that I just showed you, he said he was here on a scholarship, you know, so he's robbing Canada of funding, but still, anyways, he did very well in his Bachelor of Commerce, honors in marketing. So does this say that he is a trader? No. Does it say that he can program his own EA? No. In fact, he says in a different article that he hired people to do the EA. So when he's on there telling you about the EA and what it does, does he actually know what he's talking about? Actually, no, because he gets a lot of it wrong, and I've covered it in my training videos. So anyways, let's go on. And then after the course the university course in Bachelor of Commerce. He did an extra semester here at, and he, sorry, at, same place. And what is this all about? It's marketing specialist. It's a digital marketing specialist course. And here you see the description. Develop, implement, and track marketing programs such as email, social media, or digital campaigns and events. Analyze and report on the performance and efficiency of campaigns. Conduct market research and analyze trends to identify new marketing opportunities. Develop and create marketing materials. Write, proofread, and edit creative and technical content across different mediums. Is this a guy that's into trading? No, he's very, 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 very good at marketing. And then he went on to this company here in Ottawa, started as a field sales rep, and then moved up to senior digital, digital marketing specialist. This is what this guy does. Solomon slash Axel Armani is a digital marketing success story. How did he do it? He did it by scamming people. And we can see his entire history if you go back in this and my previous video. So thank you very much for watching. Watching. Sorry for my lame humor at the very, very beginning. Breaking news. You know, I hope you have a great evening and I hope you have an excellent holiday as this is being recorded December 26th. Thank you.